A corporate network architect will tell you that Wi-Fi 7 isn't just a new badge, it's a seismic shift that finally lets wireless keep up with gigabit fiber. Its faster 6 GHz band, Multilink Operation, or MLO, and 4K QAM modulation can deliver multi-gigabit throughput and rock-solid latency across your home or office. In this video, we will explain which device suits your use case, whether you're a remote worker, gamer, small business owner, or someone who simply refuses to accept buffering. ASUS's RTBE96U tops the charts by balancing extreme performance with robust feature sets. With the speed of 1.94 gigabits per second on the 6 gigahertz band at 15 feet and still over 400 megabits per second at 75 feet, an outstanding showing for a single router setup, eight adjustable antennas and dual 10 gigabit ports mean your wired clients won't bottleneck while AI Protection Pro security and built-in VPN server slash client support provide enterprise-grade safeguards. Its AMESH compatibility lets you expand coverage later, and the user interface exposes advanced QoS and traffic monitoring tools. At roughly $699, this model isn't cheap, but the rock-solid throughput and comprehensive security make it the gold standard for anyone who wants a bulletproof network. If your job or your gaming requires uncompromised connectivity, the RTBE96U is worth every penny. TP-Link's Archer BE800 proves you don't need to empty your wallet to enjoy Wi-Fi 7. Its eye-catching V-fold design hides hardware that pumped out 1.8 gigabits per second at 15 feet and around 1.2 gigabits per second through a wall at 20 feet during Tom's tests. You get two 10 gigabit ports. One of them even supports SFP Plus fiber, along with four 2.5 gigabit LAN ports and USB 3.0. TP-Link's Home Shield Security Suite adds network scanning and parental controls without subscription fees. The BE800 doesn't quite match the coverage of ASUS's flagship, and speeds taper off at long range, but at roughly $599, it delivers 90% of the performance for a lower capex. For budget-conscious households looking to the future-proof without compromise, this is the savvy pick. Netgear's Nighthawk RS700S prioritizes range without sacrificing headline numbers. High Speed Internet's lab found it achieved an eye-popping 3.59 gigabits per second at 2 feet on a 6 gigahertz 320 megahertz channel and still delivered 920 megabits per second at 120 feet, performance that will blanket large homes or open plan offices. Its tri-band radios use beamforming and MLO to maintain stable 5 GHz speeds without downshifting when radar interferes. Under the hood are a 10 gigabit WAN port, another 10 gigabit LAN port, four 1 gigabit LAN ports, and USB 3.2. Netgear even includes a built-in OpenVPN server and link aggregation. The router can handle up to 200 connected devices, though simultaneous full-rate performance tops out around a dozen clients. For sprawling properties that need consistent speeds in every corner, the RS700 is a performance monster. Enterprise-grade coverage at home. If you're sick of dead zones, the Netgear Orbi RBE973S delivers a comprehensive mesh solution. This quad-band Wi-Fi 7 system uses a dedicated backhaul to offer combined wireless throughput up to 27 gigabits and can cover about 660 square meters, which is approximately 7,100 square feet, with a three-pack. Each node integrates a 10 gigabit internet port and multiple 2.5 gigabit LAN ports, while Netgear Armor Security protects your network from malware. The 12 built-in antennas optimize signal distribution, and the system leverages MLO so the mesh behaves like a single high-capacity pipe. At more than $1,000 for a full kit, it's a significant investment, but if you own a large multi-story home or small business and need seamless roaming with next-gen speeds, the RBE973S is the heavy hitter. 
Asus's Zen Wi-Fi BQ16 Pro isn't just fast, it obliterates previous speed records. Tom's hardware measured the mesh kit hitting 3,523 megabits per second on the 6 gigahertz band at 6 feet, and 1,907 megabits per second at 25 feet, while even its 2.4 gigahertz band exceeded 100 megabits per second. Dual 6 GHz radios provide dedicated backhaul or can be combined via MLO. There are also 10 gigabit WAN and LAN ports and another 10 gigabit LAN plus three 2.5 gigabit ports. With a quad-core 2.6 GHz processor, 2 gigs of RAM and coverage up to 8,000 square feet, it outperforms most single unit routers. The catch is a price north of $1,100 and an overkill feature set for small apartments. But if you want the absolute fastest consumer Wi-Fi and are willing to pay a premium, this system is the apex predator. Amazon's Eero Max 7 marries Wi-Fi 7 with a plug-and-play smart home hub. In a 2600 square foot test home, a single Max 7 averaged around 600 megabits per second across a dozen locations and peaked at roughly 900 megabits per second within 25 feet of the gateway. The 6 GHz band delivered its best throughput only within about 25 feet, but the overall performance was about 50% better than an Eero 6 Plus system. Each unit offers multi-gig ports, two 10 gigabit E and two 2.5 gigabit E for wired backhaul, and the router seamlessly manages Zigbee, Thread, and Matter smart home devices. Although its range and raw speeds trail dedicated gaming routers, the Eero Max 7's simplicity, automatic updates, and integrated home automation capabilities make it ideal for families who want next-gen Wi-Fi without technical headaches. The Unified Dream Router 7 is a router, switch, and network controller rolled into one sleek tower. In Hofsberg's long-term testing, its 2.5 gigabit ports delivered around 2,450 megabits, while a 10 gigabit SFP Plus link fed a 2.5 gigabit port at 2,480 megabits. The integrated IDS IPS still allows 2.3 gigabits per second throughput with security turned on, preserving gigabit speeds. On Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi 7 phone achieved roughly 1,270 megabits per second down and 750 megabits per second at close range. Speeds remained 400 to 500 megabits per second at 40 feet, and coverage reached 1,750 square feet. Unify OS offers network-wide analytics, VLAN management, and remote access through a polished interface. You trade plug-and-play simplicity for enterprise-class control, for IT pros or small businesses seeking full visibility and the ability to expand into a Unify ecosystem, the UDR7 is a standout. Power users and privacy enthusiasts will appreciate the GL iNet Flint 3. This tri-band router uses a Qualcomm quad-core CPU and offers five 2.5 gig E ports plus USB 3.0. Its radios support 320 MHz channels and multi-link operation with theoretical aggregate speeds up to 9300 megabits per second across the 2.4, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz bands. Under the hood is 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB eMMC storage, and the latest OpenWRT 23.05 OS, giving you access to over 5,000 plugins and advanced VPN features, including WireGuard and OpenVPN DCO. GLINet bundles AdGuard Home, Parental Controls, and Multiban Failover for about $189, making it the most affordable way to join the Wi-Fi 7 Club. VPN throughput is capped at 680 megabits per second, and the firmware still needs refinement for MLO, but the Flint 3's open source flexibility and customization options are unparalleled at this price point. For gamers who refuse to compromise, the ASUS ROG Rapture GTBE98 Pro brings quad-band Wi-Fi 7 and aggressive styling. According to Tom's hardware, this router combines a 2.4 GHz band, 5.764 GHz band, and two 6 GHz bands, 11,529 megabits per second each, for a theoretical 30 gigabits total throughput. 
performance tests with a Wi-Fi 7 client delivered around 2,410 megabits per second at 6 feet and 2,050 megabits per second at 25 feet, remarkably consistent even under congestion. Ports include a 10 gigabit WAN or LAN port, another 10 gigabit LAN port, and three 2.5 gigabit LAN ports, plus configurable RGB lighting. It's priced near $749 and weighs 4.4 pounds, so this is no minimalist device, but its game accelerator prioritizes packets to reduce lag, and its extensive port array welcomes gaming PCs and consoles. If your competitive edge is on the line, the GTBE98 Pro deserves a spot on your desk. Acer's Predator Connect X7 5G CPE takes innovation in a different direction by fusing Wi-Fi 7 with cellular backup. T3's reviewers note that you can use the unit on its own or pair it with additional nodes as a mesh system. More importantly, it includes a SIM card slot, allowing you to insert a 5G nano SIM and switch to mobile broadband if your wired internet goes down. The router's stylish design and built-in 5G connectivity make it appealing to power users or remote workers who need redundancy. However, the app is reportedly clunky and the device is expensive compared with other routers. Wi-Fi 7 routers represent a leap forward, but choosing the right one depends on your specific needs. If you want the fastest single router performance with enterprise-grade security, ASUS's RTBE96U leads the pack. For a cheaper entry point without losing multi-gig ports, TP-Link's BE800 delivers compelling value. Netgear's RS700S and Orbi RBE973S excel in covering large spaces, while the Zen Wi-Fi BQ16 Pro pushes throughput to new heights. By matching your priorities, speed, range, customization, or backup, you can invest in a Wi-Fi 7 router that truly makes your network future-proof.